Welcome to Food Talk and welcome to Quentin Vanderheim. Yeah. Mate, how are you? Very good. I'm excited about this one. Yeah. Um, you're from Hippo Creek, yeah. which you guys do a lot of big meat dishes yeah. and I've had a steak from Hippo Creek, it was fantastic. Something tells me you're not cooking steak today. I'm making a traditional South African dessert known as the Mulva sponge pudding. It's going to be delicious, I yeah, trust. I hope so. Me sure. too. Well, <laughs> as they say... Proof's in the pudding. Let's get cracking. Yeah. Alright, well the first thing I need to do is get the sauce nice and hot for our Mulva pudding. So I've got the cream, milk, butter, apricot jam, sugar, vanilla essence. As it's all going to go into the pot at the same time, boil up and turn into a beautiful, delicious sauce for us, yeah. And then while that one's going, getting nice and hot and bubbly, yep. I need to be making the sponge separately in our beautiful little KitchenAid there. Beautiful. If you call right now, we'll give you two for the price of three. First things first, we need to cream up in here is the butter, the sugar and the apricot jam. So what are we going to do with that? That's going to get added to this when we finish making off our sponge batter. And that's just going to add all that beautiful moisture that it needs. Ah, okay, yeah, so that's it's really lovely soft, moist. Soft, delightful all right. slice of love. Let's crack on with the eggs. All right. So now basically, all I'm doing is just adding a little bit of flour, and then this is the milk and vanilla essence in here. So, almost there? Yeah, the last thing I want to do is just give that bowl a final little scrape around, make sure nothing's stuck to the sides. This is just white spirit vinegar. The vinegar just reacts with that baking soda and makes like a whole lot of nice bubbles that'll sort of, uh, okay. when the heat gets involved, yeah. So that'll aerate and keep exactly, it light. Exactly, yeah. So lastly, it's just this little bit of mulva sauce here. I'm going to reserve a little bit for the sponge. So it's done? Yeah, everything's sorted, ready to go. I'll get the moulds. All right, well now basically all I've got to do is just fill these ramekins pretty much three quarters full, put them in the oven, let them think about what they've done. For how long? Probably about 25 minutes. I hope I don't drop them. All right, next step. I've got my milk and cream. Right, I need on. to get that up, up in the heat, please, yeah. Infuse it with a bit of amarula. So while that's getting hot, all right, I need to start separating my eggs. Five egg yolks for this. Right, so in here, you can see we've got our five egg yolks, and this is the sugar. One thing I've learned is once you add egg yolks and sugar together, you have to combine them straight away. You can see the yep. bubbles starting to come up there. Yeah, so that's just going to get added slowly into here. So that's just going to go all straight into there on a really low flame. And the secret to it is to keep it moving the whole time. It's almost there. Not almost there, it's there. It's there. It's there, she's ready to go. Mm. Yeah. And how can you tell? Well, I'll tell you, there's a little secret trick that you do. You sort of just get the back of your spoon like that, and you just run your finger over it, and if the, if the sauce stays there like it is there, mm. that's it, perfect, good to go. Sprinkles there, and this is the final piece. Wait, I just couldn't wait. I'm sorry. Oh, look at you. Oh, what's right. that? Well, let's try and get that. Oh, yeah. It was a memory. Oh. That was the texture. Yeah, you see it? <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, <laughs> this is absolutely divine. Get down to Hippo Creek, order it. Quentin won't be cooking it for you. Thanks for cooking it for me, mate. I feel honored. He'll be doing paperwork. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. sorry about that. If you want any more information on Food Talk, then hit the website realestatetv.com.au. Follow the links.